Imagine a world where your smartphone, laptop, car windows and even the glass walls of buildings generate their own power from sunlight. No bulky power banks and no frantic searches for charging outlets. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, South Korea is turning this into reality. So, how does it work? These solar cells are transparent, which means they can let light pass through while simultaneously capturing solar energy. Essentially, your car's windshield or the screen of your smartphone could double as a power source. All you need is a little sunshine. The possibilities are endless. Forget traditional charging methods. Your phone could power itself while you go about your day. Buildings could generate energy to power entire offices. Vehicles could charge on the go, reducing our reliance on traditional fuels and grids. Transparent solar cells might sound like a revolutionary new concept, but they've actually been in development for over a decade. Back in the early 2010s, researchers from the MIT, Miles Parr, Vladimir Belovich, and Richard Lund made headlines with their breakthrough. These MIT researchers created a transparent solar cells with an impressive 70% transparency similar to tinted glass. They achieved this by developing photovoltaic cells that could be applied to any material, preserving its original look. The concept was simple yet groundbreaking. But there was a catch. These early transparent solar cells weren't commercially viable. Why? They were too expensive to produce and more importantly, weren't very efficient. Their power conversion efficiency or PCE was just 2%, meaning they converted only a small fraction of sunlight into electricity. Nonetheless, the 2% efficiency proved a good enough starting point and this work was carried forward. In 2017, researchers in MIT found a cheaper way to make transparent photovoltaic cells using organic material from carbon-containing compounds. The team achieved this by replacing expensive compounds like indium tin oxide with relatively cheap graphene, which is also abundant in nature and easy to source. The benefits of using graphene include the fact that it isn't brittle like silicon-based solar cells and apparently is also transparent and conductive. These ultra-thin layers of graphene were grown on thin copper sheets and then transferred to the target substrate. While the team succeeded in making the cells cheaper, they were still only able to reach a PCE of about 4%. At this efficiency level, the implementation of this technology wasn't viable. Fast forward to 2024 and this time to Ulsan National Institute of Science and Technology in South Korea, where researchers have taken this concept to the next level. The team conducted a live demonstration where they used one of their 16 square centimeter transparent solar panels to successfully charge a mobile phone while exhibiting a PCE of 14 to 20 percent. The South Korean team's new solar cells feature an all-back contact design which places all the working components at the back of the solar cells in order to ensure that there is no visual obstruction. Additionally, their seamless modularization technology eliminates gaps between solar cells as well as the need for opaque wires, which were one of the issues with previous transparent solar cells. For a normal smartphone, the screen size of which is around 16 by 7.5 centimeters, this translates to energy generation of 1.7 watts to 2.4 watts. Now, a normal cell phone uses between 5 to 20 watts. The power usage depends upon a range of factors. These include the number of background apps and their level of data usage, GPS usage, screen brightness intensity, and application use in the foreground such as gaming or video streaming. So yes, the capability is there to charge the phone while it's not being used. Not only that, but in emergency situations, when one is left stranded, this technology could be life-saving. We will keep an eye on this and update you about further developments. And with this, the video is concluded. For more such content, do subscribe. Thank you for your attention.